And best supporting role for this season of Maths goes to <laughs> Jason Roses. A lot of people have asked me how I became friends with Bryce and, you know, just putting it out there for public record, we did do a weekend breakfast together. He then basically stopped doing it. But at the time we were friends, I was invited to his wedding and then I was invited to the final date in Canberra. So I was a part of his circle for a very short amount of time, but it is safe to say we're not friends anymore. I don't follow him on Instagram. He doesn't follow me. And I'm quite happy with that. Were you acting, were you put up by the producers to say that he had a girlfriend? We absolutely weren't acting. Um, they did tell us about the storyline that was playing out, but the conversation that was had with the three of us was absolutely an off the mic conversation. We didn't think uh, that the cameras were still rolling. We didn't think that we were being recorded. So what you saw was a very raw conversation. That's why we were whispering, but we're not actors. I've seen people online saying, oh my God, he's an actor. He's been at another maths wedding. They've paid him a hundred dollars. I'm not an actor. We weren't paid anything. We genuinely were there at the time to support our, you know, someone, Bryce, um, but we weren't acting. And the conversation that me and the girls were having were was a genuine conversation. And you could clearly tell, um, and I'm speaking on my record, they were not comfortable being there. I was not comfortable being there. It was an uncomfortable position to be. Why weren't you comfortable? I just wasn't comfortable being there. But there's a, there must be a reason. Um, you're, you're his work colleague, being part of a reality TV show, that's a great thing. It's a high-profile thing. What, it, it just feels weird to me that you didn't want to be there. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just wasn't the line of pressured. questioning. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. At the end of the day, allegations have been made that you're lying. OK, so this went to air on a national television show that you are a liar, that you were acting and you were doing the producer's bidding by trying to further this girlfriend rumour. Can you categorically say that is not true? I'm not an actor. Um, I wasn't being told to act. Um, sure, we were told, you know, they, they had indicated that this girlfriend rumour ha had appeared during the filming and they basically wanted us to quash the rumours, you know, and the Who reality is... Who wanted you to quash the rumour? Well, I'm assuming People that's wanted Bryce. I'm assuming Bryce wanted you to quash the rumour doesn't mean that it was true. He wanted your help to kill the rumour off. What it says to me is that scene... Sorry, did he ask you to, crush, to, to actually um, crush that rumour? He had asked me in a text message to come back with that Vox Pro um, and just to paint them in a better light. Okay. Which you struggled to Sorry, do. Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Why did the relationship with Bryce end, mate? Um, I think, you know, he... I think he just thought that I... You know, to be honest, I think he thought that I was out there for the fame or I was trying to get a bit of extra television time and he saw different articles coming out and then next minute I've seen he's blocked me on Snapchat, he's unfriended me on Instagram. Um, I mean, really, I wasn't doing anything. I had, I had nothing to hide. I Was had this nothing after he saw the tape at the reunion. Uh, I think this was after he saw the tape of the reunion and then obviously things were starting, you know, he saw some Daily Mail articles, he saw the video I did on the Ange Rob and Robbo show that he had also questioned and said, what's this about? And really I said nothing. So I think after all of that, he kind of said, I'm done here. See Ange Rob the Robbo, Ange Rob the Robbo, show the Rob the Robbo, show.